This is a documentary by Jason Rodriguez about St. Nicholas's life, his adventures when he was a child, how he fed the hungry and the homeless, how he saved three children and revived them from a murderous man, and how he gave three girls a second chance when his, their father would put them in prostitution. Since St. Nicholas was very young, he loved God. His parents were always pushing him to be a holy person. He was born in a wealthy family, but at a young age his parents became ill and died. My parents have died. I am all alone and I have no idea what to do with this money and with my life. You should donate to the homeless and hungry, please. I could become an astronaut or a Roman soldier. Please, we are hungry and we have no shelter. Or I could be a fisherman and travel the seas. <sighs> Only if God would give me a sign. A Bible fell on St. Nicholas's head. Wow, look what it says here. Sell what you own and give the money to the poor. I will devote my life to God and I will give all my inheritance money to those who need it the most. Nicholas grew up loving people and later became a Bishop of Myra. I can now become more like the Lord and preach to all. Nicholas was not only a loved bishop, but he did many miracles for the needy. He did those deeds in secret and never expected an award. One day he was walking and heard a father and his daughters talking. We have no money for a dowry to give to your husbands. <laughs> You all have to become prostitutes to feed the family. No, father. We will have to find money somewhere and become married. Ugh. Will you marry us? Do you have any money? Well, no. Oh, stupid peasants. What? Oh. Girls, we'll have to get some sleep. Tomorrow, we will find work. Night time. I will give these girls money so they won't have to become prostitutes and they can become married. There. Morning. Wow, look at this money. We don't have to become prostitutes anymore. And now we have money to become married. Hey guys, we got money now. Really? Cool. We can get married. Yay! And they lived happily ever after. Kinda. I have helped these three girls. Ninja style! Here's a story about when St. Nicholas saved three innocent children. La la ni la, we're going to Athens to learn about stuff. A B L J X Turkey 159. I'm the evil innkeeper and I'm gonna kill these kids and take their money. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ha ha ha. I have killed the three children. They are now dead. I have put them in this pickling tub where no, where no one will see them. No one will ever catch me. Ha 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 ha. Oh, hello. Um, I'm St. Nicholas. I would like to stay here. Oh, yes. There's a room in the back. Don't mind the dead children in the pickling tub. I mean, there's just no children in the. No, never mind. Here. Here's your room, sir. 
Have a good night's sleep. I hope you sleep very, very well. <sighs> During the night, St. Nicholas had a very mysterious dream. It was about the three children and how they were murdered. He began to suspect the innkeeper and began to look around. Wow, there's three dead children in here. I've never uh, seen these children before. Wow, I must save them. Lord, please save them. They are so innocent and young. They deserve another chance. Amen. I'll head off now. I hope these children will be saved. I know the Lord will save them. Dun dun dun. La! We are alive. I'm a little smelly though. Huh. We were in a pickling tub. I wonder who saved us. There was a mysterious man that I saw from heaven. I think the Lord saved us though. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, mysterious man. Here is a story about when St. Nicholas saved a whole crew from dying in a storm when they went on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Oh man, I'm the captain. We're in a storm and I don't know what to do. Oh, St. Nicholas, do you have any idea what to do? Yes, we can pray. That is all we can do. But I know the Lord will save us as long as we pray and have faith in Him. Oh, uh, okay. I'll try. Lord, please save us. Thank you, if you will. The storm has stopped. We are safe now. Thank you, St. Nicholas. You are amazing. Oh yeah, St. Nicholas strikes again. One day after a fun carnival, a band of Arab pirates came and took things from the church. They also took a boy, a very innocent little boy, and made him their slave. I will take this boy to be my cupbearer. He's going to bring me drinks all the time because I'm the boss. Yeah. Oh, I have a horrible life. I miss my mom. All I do here is bring drinks to this guy. And I'm so dirty. Wow, I need to save this little boy. He misses his mom and his mom misses him so much. He is an only son. I will save him. He deserves it so much. Wow, we're flying. Thank you for saving me, Mr. Thingmobob. Are you a fairy? Or a mermaid? No, I'm a... I'm a Saint Nicholas. Wow, thank you, Saint Nicholas. No, thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. For saving me and bringing me back home to my mama. Amen. Darn it. Saint Nicholas. Homeless, hungry person. Little Saint Nicholas. The three peasant girls and their father. And their selfish husbands. The three little children who were murdered and put in a pickling tub. And the innkeeper who murdered them. This is the Holy Bible. This is the little poor cupbearer boy who was a slave for this mean man named the Boss. This is the captain who is scared and asks St. Nicholas to save them when they were in a storm and almost died. All these people were played by Jason Rodriguez. St. Nicholas was known for being very friendly to the children, helping the needy and hungry in times of famine. 
in saving people who are innocent. Oh, here, I always wanted some food. I've never had any food since the first scene. Oh, here's some bread, huh? Thank you, uh, Saint Nicholas. Thank you for watching from Jacob and Captain America. The end.